Hello guys, welcome to another episode of Uncle P's Podcast. Yeah, what's happening guys? Super excited to bring you guys this content. Let's check it out guys. Right, so I'm playing you guys a video right now of two people running, holding hands. So it's a guy and a girl. So this is a race that requires two things, okay? So I'm going to pause it right here. So as you can see, the girl's eyes are closed. The guy's eyes are open. They're holding hands. I think their hands are actually tied together. So the girl can't see where she's going. But the guy can. Now, I want I want to point out a couple of things, okay, and uh, and we'll, we'll understand where I'm going with this, okay. So the girl is very much dependent on the guy to know the direction in which she's going, in order for her to reach the finish line. The finish line is obviously, you know, the victory. So as you can see, they are running. If you look at their strides, guys, they are exactly the same. So, through practicing together, if we have to go back before the race, these guys were practicing together. I can assume either she might have fallen because her eyes are closed. He might have gone a bit too fast because he's a man and we know that men are usually faster than women in running. He might have gone a bit too far and over dragged her. She might have gone a bit too slow. So they may have found difficulties and struggles before they could eventually reach this stage where they could run at a pace that they both are comfortable with, that is not too slow for him and is not too fast for her, but fast enough that they are able to win the race. They win the race. In the end, they embrace each other with love. I love the song they put in the end. Guys, the reason why uh, I'm playing this video is I wanted to... It, this video is the perfect example of what relationships are about. And I think we've lost that whole concept of relationship. You know, we're entering into relationships for the sake of just being with somebody some men are actually entering into relationship for the sake of literally having somebody there to clean and cook for them. Some women are entering into relationship for the sake of having a provider, somebody who's there to pay the bills, uh, somebody who's there to provide for either their kids or the kids they're going to have. And some are actually getting into it because they're getting old and they're getting lonely and they just need companionship. All those reasons doesn't matter what matters is what you do when you actually enter that relationship and that is the one thing that a lot of us are failing in and what do i mean by that guys you see if you look at the example of this race like i said during their practice in training she might have fallen he might have fallen they picked each other up and they kept going he might have been moving too fast so you had to slow down because she's not ready for that speed. So they needed to find a speed that they were both comfortable with that would allow them to be able to be in sync so that they may reach the finish line together. If the guy went too far, she would have fallen. If she went too far, he would have fallen. If she went too slow, he would have dragged her. And this is what we find in relationships these days that we are not in sync with our partners you know we get into relationships while the guy still wants to um jolla still wants to enjoy life all the girls still wants to go partying and doing this our principles our ideas and desires are usually not even in sync you get into a relationship knowingly well that as a guy you don't want any kids she wants kids why are you guys together oh he wants kids she doesn't want kids why are you guys together oh no she might eventually change her mind she might eventually want it but guys you see that is the issue while you guys are getting to know each other that's the process in which you guys allow each other to understand and know what you guys want from each other the speed in which you guys want to get things done you see, there are guys out there who want to start their own businesses. And it's going to take them two to three years to do so. But you get into a relationship with a lady 
and you don't realize that that relationship requires time and requires money. Now, money that was supposed to be going into your business, you are now putting it into a relationship. The same thing with ladies. A lot of guys are going to come in and be like, oh, whoa, whoa, ladies don't spend on men. But they spend on themselves. They spend on looking good so that you may remain interested. That money that you're spending on those expensive, even if you're not with a man, I know ladies, still, you still need to look good, but the expense is much less. Even extra transportation cost. Now you get into a relationship before you achieve your dreams, before you reach your destination, you might end up having a child. Now you got to spend on, on your kid. What I'm trying to say is, guys, we need to find synchronization in our relationship if one is moving too fast you will drag the other one and using very simple dragging you may hurt the person in the process because you're moving way too fast you way too ahead you're leaving them behind they may feel incompetent because they feel like they they're holding you back because they can't keep up with you and I find it even in my relationship. I'm very quick with the things that I want to do. I've got so much life experience that I move at a very fast pace. And my fiance, there's a lot of things she doesn't even know. Like we'll be watching a movie or a series and I'll be telling her about this thing. And she, she knows nothing about days of our lives. Days of our lives. She doesn't know about days of our lives. She's never watched it. Because she didn't have a TV when she was a kid. So it's like we have different experiences in life. And we don't put that into consideration when we get into relationships with people. And I started realizing the more I just chilled. I, I Sometimes when I just took a few steps back, it allowed me to understand her better. To understand why she's not getting this as easy as she should. Like sometimes I get upset with the house chores. But it's, why is this? It's because... She, you know, when she was young, she had to raise her brother and sister because, you know, I don't want to get into a personal life, but that put so much strain on her. By the time she was a certain age, she had to get a job. Many of us have gone through so much in life. I had to sleep in the street. I was homeless at one stage in my life. So the things that we go through in life put certain positions where as adults, there are certain things that we just need to do and we do it in a certain way and the next person might not necessarily understand. So when you guys decide to get into a relationship, guys, it's extremely important that that, that time of boyfriend and girlfriend is the training time that these guys, it's that's when you train to get to know each other. That's when you understand each other, how you move, how you vibe, the energy. The problem is, is what? We are dating for looks. We are dating for financial purposes. We're dating for all the wrong reasons. So we don't see the red flags that we need to see. Or we don't see the warning signs that we need to see in order for us to understand that, yo, this person might not necessarily be the same the person that I need to be with. We're so consumed in the toxicity that relationships bring which is the fun the going out the partying the drinking the all that that we don't see everything else guys it's simple unless you're dating for the sake of just having somebody around and having fun i'm talking to the people who want to reach marriage people who want to have a fulfillment in relationship people want to get something that is solid you need to work together there are times your partner is going to be tired. The last couple of days, I've made breakfast. I've cooked dinner. I hate cooking. Uh, I hate making uh, washing dishes. That's one thing I don't do. I hate washing dishes. I li now and then I do it. But the wife knows that. That's one thing that, yo, I don't budge. Once a month, twice a month, I'll do it. So the wife at least holds that part. She makes sure the house is always clean. Our laundry is done. Lately, she's been tired. So I've taken, I've, I did my own laundry, everything. I know I go to the gym every day. So I've got a lot of clothes that are always dirty. Well, not necessarily dirty, but wet from the sweat. 
So they just need a little rub, a little rinse. Some, just do it. Take that strain. I've got two kids upstairs, a one-year-old and a couple of month old baby that she's got to take care of. Breastfeed this one. Theo wants to do this play while she's taking care of the house. I'm down here recording the podcast, working on some stuff. And while she's doing all that, she's still um, posting on Facebook, advertising or printing business. She's doing a lot. But if, and I can easily be distracted and say that she's doing nothing because you know, when you don't see what your partner is doing, when you don't understand what your partner is doing, it seems like she's doing nothing. But she's doing a lot. And just like this video, as the man, I am physically the stronger one. Mentally, not it might not necessarily be the case. But let's just look at the concept of this video. As the man, I was supposed to be the leader. I was supposed to be the mentally strong one, the physically strong one. But I can also tell you there was a stage where this guy probably wanted to give up mentally was weak. And she says to him, we can do it. We can do it. And she pushed him. This embracing in the end is reassurance that I got you, you got me. So working together, I might be weak mentally, but physically strong. And my partner's words towards me drives me and keeps me going. There's a lot of parts in our house that we need to build, like just like this studio. It needed building. I could have hired somebody, spent a lot of money, but I decided to do it on my own. And she pushed me. She kept telling me, baby, you're gonna do it. I know you you sometimes don't like the setups and you constantly change it, but eventually you're gonna reach a stage where you're gonna like what you have set up. Work together, work as a team. Our issue is the man is out there looking for money, especially for those of us that have, um, what, what do they call it? I literally blanked out. Uh, housewives, where your partner is not working. And my wife is not a housewife. She had a job. She that is during this pandemic, work is hard. And she does work. Mommy and daddy design our printing companies. It hurts. She runs it. And I run my BMF and my branding clothes under that. Well, you know what I'm saying? So she does have work. She brings money into the house. You know. So it's 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 just that thing, guys. I, I feel like you know we give up so much and so easily, and we we kind of just live consumes us so much that we forget that you know what? Sometimes you just need to take a few steps back, go back to the foundation. Anyways, guys, I'm your boy, Uncle P. Listen, guys, I love talking about relationships. Um, just, I know a lot of us want relationships. A lot of us want to get into relationships. And, you know, we're just scared. You know, we, we're worried about loyalty. We're worried about cheating. We're worried about lies. Uh, men now just feel like women just want, 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 and there's nothing to bring into the table. Women just feel like guys are no longer faithful, lies, cheating, and all that. Guys, nah, that's not the case, man. The thing is you need to find that person that you're willing to, you know, synchronize with, that you're willing to, you know, fall and stand up, that is willing to pick you up, that you're willing to pick up, that you're willing to work with. And that's the process you go through during your relationship. You know? But anyways, guys, I'm your boy, Uncle P. And this is another episode of Uncle P's Podcast. <laughs> I'll see you guys on the next one, man. Peace.